Ever since Steve was abducted on August 4th, 2013 in Aleppo, his family has refrained from speaking about his incarceration. Now that he has left this world, we break that silence to share Steve's story and that of our country. We Americans want to tend to our lives, work our jobs, farm our farms. But time and time again, we are sucked into the world's crises and are often perplexed about which policy to pursue and criticized for what we choose. Steve was equally torn between two poles. He wanted to live in a society governed by John Ford's ideals, but ultimately could not turn his back on the suffering pervading Sam Peckinpah's world. He yearned for a tranquil life where he could enjoy Miami Dolphins games on Sunday and a banal job, office job on Monday that would provide him a comfortable middle-class existence. But the Arab world pulled him. He was no war junkie. He did not want to be a modern-day Lawrence of Arabia. He merely wanted to give voice to those who had none. From the Libyan doctor in Misrata, who struggled to provide psychological services to children ravaged by war, to the Syrian plumber who risked his life by crossing regime lines to purchase medicines, their story was Steve's story. He ultimately sacrificed his life to bring their story to the world. Steve was no hero. Like all of us, he was a mere man who tried to find good concealed in a world of darkness. And if it did not exist, he tried to create it. He always taught to help those less privileged than him, offering career services and precious contacts to newcomers in the region. He indulged in South Park, but was just as serious about filing a 3 a.m. story. He had a fondness for junk food he could not overcome. And despite his busy schedule, he always found time to Skype his father to talk about his latest golf game. Steve, was, Steve often said his job was to hold people's hands to build rapport before delving into the story. He never rushed or was pressured. He was appreciated by all who met him for sincerity and kindness. Steve had a gentle soul that this world will be without. But his spirit, but his spirit will endure in our hearts. Today we grieve. This week we mourn, but we will emerge from this ordeal. Our village is strong. We will not allow our enemies to hold us hostage with the sole weapons they possess, fear. Our prayers go out to the family of Jim Foley. Like Steve, he suffered, but his jailers never broke him. He was an inspiration for others in that dark prison far from this country's freedoms. And for me personally, I failed you, Boy Scout. I left you in the field to suffer your fate. I will carry this burden until I meet you, but I will never forget your kindness. Watch over me, Patrocles. We ask the media to respect our wish for privacy as we mourn Steve's passing. I have a few words in Arabic for the Arabic media. Andi risale l'uma al-Islamia. Steve Sotlat s'istashada fi sabil Allah. Kan yiji l'alam al-Arabi ashan yuhib al-Arab wa kul al-Muslimin wa kan aiz Yersel Risalatum Lil Alam Kullo Steve Kanya Tasif Al Fala Bagir Dalil Wandi Risal Lil Abu Bakar Wai Lak Haketan Ramadan Shar Rahma Bawen Rahma Tabak Iki An Al Islam Wal Quran Al Karim Basana Ja Al Anar Fal Al Alaya Katalufi Sabila La Ladina Yukatalunakum وَلَا تَعْتُوا عَلَى الْمُتَدِّينِ إِنَّ لَا يُحِبَّ الْمُتَدِّينِ يَا أَبُو بَكَرْ أنا جايز للمجاد المعك أنا جاي بمعزة الحسنة ما عندي سيف بيدي أنا جايز للجواب تبعك Thank you very much Barack, could you just speak about how the parents are doing really quickly?